Hello and welcome to the video. This is looking at a new frame kit from Holy Bro. Now I get lots of requests from students and people at university and college who are building multi-rotors as part of their dissertation or their research. And recently I did a video talking about Ardu Copter and used this reference frame. Now this reference frame is a great platform, but I was interested when I saw this one because this is the version two of something called the X500 from Holy Bro. And it isn't ridiculous money, and actually it comes with everything you need in the box to get it ready. The only thing you're gonna need is a receiver, flight controller, and battery. But if you are looking for this kind of larger format model with the ESC motors, props, the frame, power distribution board and everything inside this is a really cute way to do it so i'm making this video so that all of you students and people that contact me i can kind of point you to it so you can have a look at this nice kit because it is incredibly flexible obviously designed around things like the holy bro pixhawk flight controllers it does make a really stable platform with lots of weight carrying capability if you want to put cameras or sensors on it or do research now this is the v2 version it has a couple of big differences over the original x500 it's a new design with very very quick build i'll show you very quickly some of the images from the build i did here hollybro reckon it's about 15 minutes yep i think that's about right 15 20 minutes you can have all the bits together ready to start installing your flight controller and other pieces it's all carbon fiber frame with fiber reinforced nylon connectors and it goes together really beautifully the carbon fiber is really well finished and all the screws are not only clearly labeled but the manual that comes with it is a piece of cake to put together if you can manage simple ikea furniture or a something like a lego build this is going to be a piece of cake you can have it together in the time it takes for your cup of tea to get cold it also comes with pre-installed motors and escs on the ends of each of the arms each with an xt30 plug for the power distribution board which is again included in the kit and the power distribution board comes with it with uh, additional outputs which is incredibly handy for powering other stuff and what i mean by that is if you're going to put a pixel on here you're going to use something like a power distribution board but if you're going to add things like lights or cameras or sensors that need main battery power there's additional pieces on the power distribution board that allow you to plug those straight in without any messing about or soldering there is also a mount for companion computers if you want to do that. So there's room on here for things like Raspberry Pis, Nvidia Jets and Nanos, those kind of stuff. And there is an optional depth camera mount for the Intel RealSense or the Structure Core if you wanted to add that too. That's available in the same link that's down below the video. So inside the kit, we have the X500 V2 frame kit itself, which goes together. And again, it comes with the motors and ESCs. The motors are Hullybro 2216 uh, 920KV motors, two clockwise, two counterclockwise. Very similar to the kind of stuff that's in, in the older DJI Phantom sizes. So pretty standard sizes and pretty standard layout. The ESCs in each of the arms are BL Heli S. 20 amp ESCs they're actually built in there so at the end of each arm there is just the power connector and also the flying lead which goes into the flight controller which are all very clearly labeled which is really nice the landing gear is 16 millimeter tubing with 10 millimeter diameter carbon fiber tubes that are strengthened with plastic T connectors it does feature a dual 10 millimeter rod rail mounting system which fits most things and does have the battery bay at the bottom too and all the straps and everything that comes with it also very handily everything you need in here all the screws the allen keys the wrenches everything you're going to need to put together is in the box you don't have to buy anything else which is a really nice set of features in terms of the building it's pretty straightforward you just follow the simple manual that's in the box you put the grommets inside these pieces slide them onto the carbon fiber tubes and then you start putting the pieces on and bolting all the stuff together everything that you need again is in the box and each of the bags of bits is labeled so it's very easy to figure out how it all goes together 
The top deck also has a nice arrow showing you which is the front of the top deck and also shows you where each of the motors need to be positioned in the corners and those motors are very clearly labelled in the bag. Next job once you've made the sub-assembly is to attach the power distribution board on to the bottom of it. Again that's got an extra couple of ports which is handy for powering other stuff on the model particularly if you're using it for something like college, university or research. Once that's in place then that just screws onto the rails and then it's just a case of putting the legs on. Uh, the legs are held on with slightly sturdier bolts even when the legs are all nipped up they, there is a little bit of wobble, so just be aware of that. Don't go mad trying to crush the bolts into pieces. But all of the nuts are kind of held captive in the plastics. So a lot of the messing about that you normally have putting these things together is a lot easier. Once it's sat upright, then it's just a case of popping on the motors and the top deck. And everything goes together beautifully. Some really, really nice features on this thing. Even having things like Holobro embossed in all of the plastics around there. And the way it's put together it just goes together really, really nicely. Now, when I made my video, the Pixhawk series last year, which was the Pixhawk 2020 series, I used the Hexoon reference frame. This has a lot of similar things to that reference frame, which makes it a cracking thing to do with stuff like Arducopter. However, having built this and also the Hexoon frame, I would say I prefer this. I like the way this goes together. This feels like a higher quality kit, which is pretty much what you expect from the guys at Holybro. Wheelbase, for those who are interested, is 500 millimeters. The motor mount pattern is 16 by 16 mil. The frame body itself is 144 by 144 millimeters. And the landing gear height is about 215 millimeters. The space between the top and bottom decks is 28 millimeters. And to finish this off, you're going to need something like a flight controller, something like a Pixhawk Q, Pixhawk 5, or Pixhawk 4, or even Durandal would be a great choice. You're going to need a little power module, a GPS, and a battery. Recommended batteries for this is anything from two to 5,000 milliamp hours. 4S is going to be what you need. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that are looking at things like this. This is another great option if you are at university or college or building something like this as part of your dissertation or the pieces you're doing for your research. This is a fab choice and only weighs at about 610 grams before you start adding all the extra bits on. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.